Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and in this video, we are going to be updating the overall class rankings that we have on the website for DiabloPro.gg that we run here at Aftershock. And we had the original one for launch, and you'll see that one right here on the left. And then we are going to be updating it to the new version over there uh, that will be going live. It'll probably update here uh, within an hour or two uh, on the website uh, of me kind of publishing this. But while I had it up and was working on it, I wanted to take that opportunity to show you the differences between our launch tier list and then how we are feeling right now over there on the right and give you some context and explain the, uh, the thought process that went into working on this. So let's get into it. So all righty, let me shrink myself down here so we can try to hopefully uh, see more of the list here. Now, first of all, the normal tier list caveats. This is not going to be perfect, and people out there are going to have their own opinions where they agree and disagree. The way that we try to do it is we try to get many different perspectives from top players, high spenders, medium spenders, free to play, grinders. I, I did my best to, uh, I, I brought people on stream. We talked about all this different stuff for like over an hour uh, with lots of good minds in the Diablo immortal scene and uh, many different people on discord servers and stuff like that. And just trying to best get uh, an overall feeling of people's experiences uh, to eliminate as many biases from one person as possible. But like I said, you know the drill. It's never going to be perfect, and you're welcome to let me know down below on where you agree, where you disagree. I appreciate all of that feedback because it helps us slowly fine-tune and make resources like this more and more accurate over time. This will be a living document. This will change probably at least once a month, uh, uh, maybe every few weeks, depending on when there's patches or, or big changes that happen, like a new class or some rebalancing, stuff like that. But anyway, this is going to be the first update uh, after launch, and we're going to be getting this out in the middle of July here. Uh, by gathering as much input as we could on getting this done for you. So, all right, now that we got the normal caveats out of the way, let's uh, let's talk about the methodology. So, what we're doing here is we are ranking the different areas of the game, uh, and we we weight them with a percentage on the right. So that's going to be how much that er that that ranking contributes towards the final ranking on the overall tier. So you'll get an area uh, like PvP that might be way more important than leveling 1 to 60 or something. Uh, so you'll you'll weight that a lot more in the overall ranking in the final grade, which shows here up at the top. So uh, then it is going to break down uh, each... Uh, we, we go solo play, synergy, leveling 1 to 60, PvP, beginner-friendly dungeons, uh, challenge rifts, support, and damage. And they do have little uh, text breakdowns. Uh, I'll, I'll link to it down below if you want to pull this up. They have little text breakdowns talking about... Uh, what what they what they kind of represent in that little uh, little box, but the the main things to note here in terms of the methodology, we changed leveling one to sixty to just leveling because uh, you know when before the game was out, a lot of people were super curious about the leveling to one uh, leveling one to sixty storyline process and what that was going to be like. So we changed that to leveling now that people are not only leveling up new classes to sixty, but also doing the Paragon grind as well. And then we adjusted some of the weights, uh, like we really bumped up pvp up to 22 percent and pvp was 15 percent and then we lowered a couple other ones to uh to make up for that uh because pvp just comes into play so much you've got like your your right of exile your shadows versus immortals uh your battlegrounds uh, lots of different areas where that's going to come into play uh you, the ancient arena uh, event that everybody has fun doing uh in the open world when you have your parties going against each other so pvp right now grading out as the most weighted uh spot just because it's in so many different areas but all the other stuff mostly stayed the same in terms of the methodology uh, and, and maybe as the game evolves and, and things change we'll adjust that accordingly and then in terms of how the classes overall uh, ended up shaking out, uh, remember the old uh, order is on the left and we had the Barbarian, Crusader, Demon Hunter, Necromancer, Monk, and Wizard. But the new order, we have a new king on the overall tier list, the Necro sliding way up the board from fourth to first. Demon Hunter actually moving up a little bit as well uh, from, the, uh, from the third spot to number two. Even though you'll notice that the grades kind of universally went down here, except for it looks like the monk went up and the necro went up and then everybody else went down a little bit. So uh, that, that's just because you know, we're seeing the, the Necromancer just shine so generally. Uh, CC, support, uh, really good solo, really good for beginners, summons, just, just so much general utility 
tankiness and everything that it brings to the table. Uh, it usually pushes super far in challenge rifts, just uh, grading out right now on an overall scale as the uh, the far superior best overall general class in the game, in our opinions, as a consensus. Demon Hunter also shining very well because it is the go-to uh, the go-to pick for damage. You, when you're trying to do well in your, your Shadow Wars, you want to bring those Demon Hunters to crank out damage on that immortal, amazing single target damage. They crush in PvP if the, the demon hunters scale really well. Uh, so like if you have really good gear, they're gonna scale super well. Uh, wizards also sliding way up the board in PvP, being super amazing and starting to crush in PvP uh, and be really difficult to deal with with black hole and the different stuff that they bring. Uh, Crusader at number three, uh, you know a. Big saving grace for the Crusader is the Banner. Banner is one of the best abilities in the game. It is ridiculous. Most people's crit chance is somewhere between 10 and 15%. So when you have a Banner that ups it to 100 for the whole party, it like it, it just feels bad to not have a Crusader in your group when you are doing things like dungeon runs because it, it is just ridiculous to get that that guaranteed crit uh, constantly. And when you and it's even better to have two Crusaders and then two damage dealers to just rotate the banners and, and keep cycling through. We were getting down to like two minute Mad King runs when we had double Seder and 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 then like a, a double DH. And it was just constant damage, rotating banners and blasting through content. So Banner is definitely saving the Crusader from falling down into fifth or sixth barbarian falling a little bit from grace um like the, the barbarian is not awful uh it, it's just maybe not as amazing as we kind of thought it was i still think it's a very solid class but i'm going with with input from other people uh that are kind of telling me and giving input on this uh, on some of these grades as well and then monk and wizard largely staying uh where they were but definitely performing really well in pvp so sliding up the board a little bit uh the monk going from seven to seven point three uh and and can and the monk and wizard can definitely be scary uh with good gear and, and on powerful uh on powerful players when you're having to go against them in any sort of a pvp environment so yeah i wanted to get this up to date because i know with class changes coming out let me make the uh the updated one the the big version here and then i can uh, adjust my size here. So I wanted to get this done because we are obviously getting class changes very soon. So very important to get this up to date so that uh, you have the full breakdown of what our opinions are so far. And uh, and it's looking like you know we'll probably be getting people uh, making some swaps to classes they feel like are going to be a lot better. You're going to want a good breakdown of the top three for sure. Crusaders are so vital for all of your speed runs. Demon Hunters, so viable for cranking out damage. And Necromancers, so generally useful that uh, every clan is going to want a good breakdown of those three. And then sprinkling in uh, the other three classes. You do want all the classes for sure uh, because, you know, there are specific roles that each class fills and each class can perform well. I think for a new game, Honestly, the balance isn't that bad. Uh, there are some tweaks and adjustments that need to be made to certain things in pertaining to certain skills and different classes uh, to bring everything into line. Um, I tend to like to go the route of buffing instead of nerfing. Like, I hope they don't come through and and, and slam the Necromancer into the ground uh, to make people feel bad that have a lot of uh, time invested in the Necromancer. I would hate to see that. I would just like to see us give some things to other classes to, uh, to bring it up into order. And obviously, it's going to be a never-ending process. You're gonna have uh, you're gonna have you know one class gets strong, the meta changes, another class is strong, and you gotta buff stuff, and and that's how you end up in these crazy situations of power creep where things are constantly evolving and getting stronger over time. But it does end up typically being the uh, the better choice between uh, the options of having to slam something into the ground, nerfing it, or buffing some other stuff uh, to, to give other classes some cool things in the game. But honestly, they all kind of have a role, and I think no matter what you're playing, you can definitely contribute to your team uh, if you're doing well with the grind and, and making sure you're staying uh, strong and keeping uh, keeping pace with, with everybody you're playing with. So all alrighty, that will do it for me on this one. And again, I'll link to this down below if you want to pull it up and it might and if you're watching this video right away i am going to crank this video out uh because i was running behind today because of hosting the uh the sunday stream hangout that we do uh for diablo immortal and stuff so this video coming out a little bit later than my normal videos i apologize for that uh but uh, you know give it time to populate on the site it should be live hopefully by the time this video uploads and we will do our best to keep it up to date and remember to subscribe on your way out because we're going to be updating and producing all sorts of resources like this and also gathering your input let us know on the discord server let me know in the comment section be honest let me have it let me know where you disagree so that i can use that information on a broad scope to uh, to continue to work on resources like this so as always thanks for watching have a good rest of your day peace